Week 11 of the college football season. We're back in Jordan Hare Stadium. It's Auburn. It's Georgia. It's the 121st edition of the Deep South's oldest rivalry. I'm Lauren Sisler. And I'm Kevin Skarbinski. It's dogs. It's cats of a sort living together. Mass hysteria. Woo! Okay, Kevin, when we look at this matchup, I have a feeling I know what direction you're going in, but I'm going to counter on that before you even get there. So this is a matchup that uh, Georgia has won nine of the last 11, so it's a 9-2 and two record. However, this is also a matchup in which four of Georgia's nine wins were in a span of one, po one possession. So look, the odds are in the favor of the Auburn Tigers in terms of the disparity in this football game, and they get to go to Jordan-Hare Stadium during the day, and I think that this Auburn team – if healthy, has comprised of a lot of weapons on offense, including your boy, Jarrett Stidham. If you're going to put Jarrett Stidham against a freshman, Jake Fromm, I like Jarrett Stidham's body of work. Jake Fromm, he has developed as a quarterback. He has done some great things this season, but he's got to throw the ball down the field. I think that this Auburn defense has been awesome all season long. I think that they're going to come in and drop what I like to call the steel curtain the Kevin Steele curtain on them. Stop the run game, make John, Jake Fromm throw the ball, force some mistakes, and in the end, I like Auburn in this one. Interesting. Now look, if we're talking about a comparison of the quarterbacks, yes, Jarrett Stidham is a better quarterback right now than Jake Fromm. He's had a better yeah. season. Yep. He leads the SEC in completion percentage. He gives Auburn a deep threat they haven't had in years. He gives them balance. Auburn is now one of five teams in the FBS that averages at least 220 yards rushing and 220 yards passing per game. They have been very, very good. However, However, they haven't been very good against the two best defenses they faced. He had no time to throw against Clemson, was sacked, what, 11, 18, 35 times, it seemed like. And LSU in the second half, not very good. Look at his numbers in those two games. Against Clemson, he was 13 for 24 for 79 yards. Against LSU, 9 for 26 for 165 yards. Those kind of numbers are not going to get it done against Georgia. So this game is all on the Auburn offensive line. If they can keep Jarrett Stidham upright, if they can open some holes for Carrion Johnson, they will have a chance in the fourth quarter. If they can't do those two things, they're going to be the team running away with its tail between his legs. All right, Kevin, so kind of spoiled it there. I think I'm leaning in the side of Auburn. You're leaning in the side of Georgia. But let's get to the predictions. Let's break this down. I think that Auburn is going to win this football game because I think what's going to happen here is that this defense is going to shut down one of the best dynamic duos in the country in Nick Chubb and Sony Michelle. I also think that, as we said before, Jarrett said him his efficiency has been outstanding. No, he hasn't gone up against a top defense like this, but I think he's going to hit a few good plays down the field that's going to put Auburn up. My final score prediction, 27-24. Hmm, interesting. Look, Auburn is good enough to win this football game. They have good enough personnel on offense. Mm -hmm. They have good enough personnel on defense. They have good enough coaching on defense. And then we talk about the offensive coaching. And I've seen this movie too many times. The visiting team has won more games in this series than the home team. It's been an odd series, the Deep South Soldiers rivalry. Uh, so home field advantage isn't as strong in this series as it is in others. I think they get to the fourth quarter. I think they have a chance to win. But Auburn has not beaten a top 10 team since November 1st, 2014. That was against number seven Ole Miss. This is number one Georgia. Kirby Smart has Gus Malzahn's number, and Georgia wins by the number 20 to 17. Well, Kevin, I guess we can agree on one thing, a three-point game between both teams in this matchup. I want to play a little game of Did You Know, and I'm going to start this one off. Did you know that Auburn has never lost to Georgia when both teams are ranked in the top ten? Auburn now a top ten, ten team according to the college football playoff as of Tuesday. You are correct. It's happened three times, 1971, 1983, and 2004. And no, I was not at all three games. I was only at the 2004 <laughs> game. But right. I have an asterisk. I have an asterisk to, to your Did You Know. In each of those three top ten versus top ten matchups, Auburn was the higher ranked team. They've never met as both ranked in the top 10 oh. with Georgia as the higher ranked team. Georgia's number one this week, Auburn's number 10. So you did you know, all bets are off. <laughs>